Only on six, a South Florida pup diagnosed with a rare form of tetanus. NBC 6's Jamie Garola spoke to Frank's owner as well as his vet that saved his life. This is Frank. He's a happy little pup. You wouldn't even be able to tell that the last few weeks have been rough, even life-threatening. This was Frank more than a month ago in not so good shape. His neck and body stiff, ears stuck pointed up. At one point, he could barely walk. I noticed that, that he didn't eat all Tuesday and he always eats and his ears. His ears were pinched up on top of his head. And I said, something is wrong here. Alan Bowman knew something was wrong with his new puppy, a German short hair pointer. Alan rushed Frank to his vet, who sent him to the Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist Animal Hospital. When he was here, he couldn't move any of his legs. His tail was straight out like that. And he couldn't, he couldn't move anything. He looked like a stuffed dog. Hi, Frank, Frank. Dr. Linnell Tossi diagnosed Frank with an extremely rare form of tetanus. It freezes the nerves and muscles and causes spasms. It's usually contracted through a cut in the foot or paw. We don't think that's what happened to Frank, though, because he had no wounds. So we think because he was a young puppy and teething, he was losing his puppy teeth, and he probably chewed on something had the bacteria, and he got infected through his mouth. The staff and team knew exactly what to do to Frank back to good health. After intensive regimen of antibiotics, muscle relaxants, and intense nutrition, Frank did extensive physical therapy that included a water treadmill and an obstacle course. Frank is doing amazing. Frank has been just the most incredible little patient. He came in, stick straight, ears back, tail out, and within the first week, he could wag his little tail. Now he's, he, he's regained his voice, his voice and um, uh, everything is good, very good. Frank is now back home and made a full recovery. Alan couldn't be more grateful to the medical team at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialists. They really love the animals. And when he goes over there, to, he knows he's at the hospital, even though he's not going back in for treatment. He goes in and he's wagging his tail and they all come out and say, Frank's here. Hi, Frank. Such a sweet little puppy. He recovered in pretty much no time. He's expected to grow to be around 75 pounds. So certainly a lucky dog here and his owners very lucky as well. In Fort Lauderdale, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News. Ah, uh, one lucky dog indeed. All right, well, any dog can get tetanus, but some dogs are more susceptible than others between three months to two years old. Dogs that spend most of their time outdoors and large breeds like German Shepherds or Labradors. And to learn more about the symptoms of tetanus in dogs, just visit the NBC6 News and Weather.